Hello there folks, welcome to Wild Astro and my very first gear review. On this channel we do wild camping, astrophotography as well as some gear reviews, although this is my very first one. If you like the sound of that, please hit that like button, share with your friends, consider subscribing, there's a lot more to come. Leave me a comment below, let me know the sort of things you'd like to see, I really enjoy reading them. And I do try to get back to every single one. This is Wild Astro. Hello, many thanks for watching. First thing I want to talk to you about today is my cooking system. Here it is. This is the Highlander 2 Blade Fast Boil System. Okay, it's a very, very simple, straightforward, not a copy of a jet boil, but it is a very, very similar design to a jet boil. It has a piezo igniter here. It has, it's not a regulator, but it does have a little uh, on off valve there. And as I say, piezo igniter, very reliable, lights first time every time. The capacity of this is 900 millilitres, although I imagine you could get a litre in there if you really wanted to push it to the limit. There are markings on the inside of the, uh, the pot to let you know roughly how much you have in there. The lid has got a nice little strainer on this side as well as a pouring spout on this side. It's pretty well thought out, it's a nice design, it's very very effective at cutting out wind around here and for me up until now it has been the absolute ideal companion for when I want to cook. I say cook, but to be honest with you, all I've ever done with this is boil water, because as you know, I'm a big fan of the Summit to Eat uh, dehydrated meals. This all packed together in its bag with a brand new 100 gram uh, gas canister weighs in at 645 grams. So it's not very, very light and it's not very, very heavy either. But up until now, it has been absolutely ideal for me. I say up until now, because there's a new kid on the block. That I want to talk to you about now. So instead of my Highlander 2 from this point on I will be cooking with this. In my little bag here the first thing you will see is this. This is the Tokes 750ml titanium cooking mug or pot. Lovely little lid on there the handle itself locks open like that so that it doesn't uh, close down, doesn't get too hot during cooking, and that folds away nicely. The Tokes, as I say, 750 mil. The primary thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today, I'll put that off to one side, is this. This is the heart of my new cooking system, and it is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It comes in this nice little bag, it's very, very hard wearing bag, really tough canvas material. I put that off to one side and here it is. Here is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe. Okay, as you can see, much, much smaller than the palm of my hand. It is a fantastically lightweight, lovely little bit of kit. If you're familiar with the Pocket Rocket 2 and the Pocket Rocket 1, the arms fold out in just the same way. Okay, so you've got a very, very sturdy, nice wide cook pot stand on top there. The bottom folds out like that. What we have on here in addition to the Pocket Rocket 2 is a micro regulator, which gives me the option of a full boil or a uh, light simmer, everything in between. We also have a little piezo igniter on the side here. I can honestly say that having tried that igniter probably 50 to 60 times, it has never ever misfired. It has lit first time every time so far. Okay, so that is the Pocket Rocket Deluxe. The Tokes 750ml uh, cooking pot sits very, very nicely on top of there, okay? It all comes in this nice little, well, the Tokes came with the, the little orange bag. The MSR came with the tough canvas sack, okay? Um, I'm gonna just bring the, I'm gonna just bring the uh, Highlander 2 back in for a moment and talk to you a little bit about the comparisons between them, okay? So the Highlander 2 costs roughly a third of the amount of the equivalent jet boil, which would be the jet boil flash. Uh, that's the one that has the igniter and the little micro regulator on the side, although the Highlander 2 doesn't have a regulator. As I said before, the weight of the Highlander 2 with a new gas canister is 645 grams. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transfer this gas canister over onto the pocket rocket. The pocket rocket deluxe setup with the exact same brand new 100 gram gas canister weighs two thirds 
of what the Highlander weighs. It weighs 430 grams, okay, which is uncanny. Exactly two thirds of what this weighs. Okay, so fantastic. I've managed to cut a third off the weight of my cook system. Okay, what I've also managed to do, which I'll show you as I pack up, is I've managed to cut down the bulk fairly significantly as well. Okay, the stove back inside there as well. It fits nicely. Everything fits ever so nicely inside the uh, the Highlander 2, um, as well as the tripod, although I'm keeping that out because I'm going to use it with the new system. So there we are. Right, so that's that one. Uh, in terms of the boil times on these, I have boiled both of them with a new gas canister. Because this is a 750 mil pot, I used 600 mil of water on a breezy day outside like this. Um, the Pocket Rocket Deluxe took 3 minutes and 20 seconds to boil that 600 mil. The Highlander 2 actually took 2 minutes and 50 seconds, so it's about 30 seconds quicker at 600 mil of water. Okay, so that's you know one of the trade offs, but the benefit to the new setup, bear with me, I do like to keep a little bit of kitchen paper in here just to stop the canister from scratching the inside of the mug. Okay, folds up nicely like that. And we'll just fit it back inside this little bag here. The only thing that won't fit inside this 750ml mug is the tripod. Now I imagine there are tripods around that will fit in there, although this one doesn't quite. quite it's, it's close, but it doesn't quite. You could probably fit a lighter in there if you wanted to. You might even be able to squeeze one or two coffee sachets in there if you wanted to, but there it is anyway. There's the lid. What I'm going to do with the tripod is this. That will fit on the top of there, and when I tighten the bag down, it'll hold it nicely on top of that cooking system, and there it is. You can see where the benefits are. Two thirds the weight of this. It has cost me, I have to say, to put this together around about 80 pounds to put this little setup together, okay? The Pocket Rocket Deluxe, about 55 pounds. The, um, the Tokes 750 mil pot, uh, probably, I, I forget, I think it was around about 28 pounds, okay? So we're getting on between 80 and 90 pounds this setup has cost me. This you can get if you look hard enough for about £45, although I would say the extra 30 seconds boil time is a worthwhile trade-off for me in the saving in weight and bulk on this system, okay? So, that's pretty much all I wanted to, uh, all I wanted to share with you today, guys. I do have one or two more weight-saving gear changes that I've made. I'm going to bring those to you soon. Um, I have got a review of the Lanshan 2 coming up fairly soon, although I'm not 100% sure exactly what I want to say about that just yet. Um, it is in the pipeline though. The next video you're going to see is the second part of my OS Maps reading tutorial. I'm going to head out to Kader Idris next weekend. I'm going to look at the landscape uh, compared to the OS Map. So familiarise yourself with that first video. Um, I'll leave a link to it up here and um, I'll be back with you next weekend. In the meantime, have a great time. Thanks for watching. This is Wild Astro, signing off.